uh, let me show you the mobile view in a Chrome browser. So uh, Chrome browser is the most popular um, browser. And the interesting thing, so for example, I'm gonna navigate to um, uh, our, our application under the test. So as you can see here, I'm using uh, just a Chrome and it's Windows 10, right? So how, how can I kind of make it as a mobile view? Because if you open it on a mobile device, it's not gonna look exactly the same. It's gonna be different actually. So what you can do, you can right click and then uh, pick the last one, uh, inspect. You can do it anywhere really. So once you do so, there is a bar, in my case, it's on the right side, it can be anywhere, but it doesn't matter. So there is a button, you see, toggle device toolbar, control shift M is a shortcut. So you can click on it and you see now how it's different. So it's unfortunately, it's set to responsive over here. So I'm gonna pick the extra, some, some device. So for example, uh, I can select iPhone X, that's actually my phone that I have personally. But you see there is some options and automatically it, it changes the, the size of the screen. So you see this is basically how would you uh, see uh, this application on, on the iPhone 10. So I'm gonna refresh the page just in case. <clears throat> and this is how it should be uh, displayed on the phone and I'm logged out. So this is what should I see. So of course you can just uh, click uh, different elements. You can swipe, you see I'm swiping like up and down. You can click and, and so on. And you see how different it is, how different it is now. Uh, oh, actually I'm logged in. Um, and if I change something to let's say iPhone 5, you see uh, the screen uh, got smaller. So it's it's much smaller actually now which is kind of cool. You can switch uh, the screens on the fly. Uh, there is another one. So if you don't want to kind of emulate the, the actual device, there is a, like a bar on top of it. So you see mobile S 320 pixels, it says. So there is a couple of different one like mobile. This is small mobile, like medium size, like a, a t-shirt sizes, right? Mobile uh, large. And then the next one will give you a tablet. Uh, and it's tablet um, kind of um, vertical view, right? And then if you go to the next one, you see it's laptop. So this is very tiny laptop with the 1024 width pixels. So it's a little bit, uh, not that wide. And then you can just keep going because there's the same thing for, for laptop. Uh, laptop and laptop large which is basically, oh, it's, there is actually 4K here. All right, so you can, you can really like select anything. And there is an iPad as well here, so you can just select iPad like this. Uh, you can actually flip, you see rotate, so now it's horizontal. But this is a um, very cheap way uh, of, of testing on uh, mobile device, uh, kind of simulating mobile devices, even without having the actual mobile device. And uh, for me, I would rather do it on a, on a computer than on the phone, because it's kind of, it takes a little longer on the phone, I think, because here I have all the passwords uh, saved and everything, but it's not the same, it's not exactly as it is on the phone. So it's, it simulates and most of the times it's um, pretty much the same that you would see on your phone, but not always. So be careful. It's cheap and it's dirty, right? But if you use your phone, you, you can identify more issues and um, on different phones, you can actually see different issues.